All right, guys. Today, today is an exciting day. We've got a package here from OCAM 4x4, and um, I'm pretty excited to show you what's inside. I think this is going to be an excellent mod for my patrol. You're going to want to see it. So let's just let's stop stuff around. Let's just get them opened up and show you what's inside, eh? So you've all seen the thumbnail. Here we have the OCAM towing mirrors, specifically um, suited for a GQ patrol. As you can see, they look awesome, and they are quite large. I'm absolutely stoked to see how these go on and just what it's going to look like. I think it's going to change the driving experience coming in an old patrol. I'm going to feel like I'm in like a F-350 cruising down the road. <laughs> I'm super stoked. Very fortunate from the guys at OCAM. They sent these out to us um, and yeah, they just, they look awesome. So before we get them all bolted up, what we're going to do, we're going to quickly take the patrol for a spin in its current form and uh, we'll sort of show you how the mirrors, you know, perform as they sit now, what they sort of do and I'll, I'll tell you what I think about them so far. And then uh, we'll be right back and we'll get into throwing these bad boys on the car. All right, so just a heads up, we're running low on stickers. So if you want a sticker to put on your rig, now's the time to get one because I think we only have like 40 or 50 left. So AussieArmors.com to do five bucks, free shipping Australia wide, help us out a ton. And you get an awesome sticker for your rig. So cheers guys. All right, so just sort of, yeah, demonstrating how the mirrors work. So. They're factory mirrors. People talk about how bad they are all the time. They shake a heap, especially when you're on the freeway at like 100, 110, like they vibrate. They're sort of really zoomed in, like really focused and zoomed in, so you don't get a wide, like on, the, on my passenger side, it's really hard to see the left lane, but on my driver's side, it's not too bad. And yeah, every time I close the door, they change because they're not tight. They, I have to readjust them every time I go to drive. So yeah, look, they're just, they're not ideal, but I've just been making them work. Other thing is too, my tray, because my tray is wide, as a lot of you would know, half of my mirror, half of my vision is my tray. Yeah, so it'll be good to see uh, how the new mirrors change all that, and I think they're going to do a lot. All right, so now you've seen what the old mirrors are like and why they need replacement. Uh, open out the boxes, you can see, so we've got the mirrors in each box. Got a bit of mounting hardware, as you can see, and um, yeah, we'll just we'll wipe stuff around and we'll get these old mirrors off, and then we can... Um, looking at bolting these things up, so let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, I've taken the door card off. Pretty much we had to get to the inside so we could pull the old uh, like brackets that go on the back side of the door. We had to pull these old ones off. Um, they fell out, and these are the new ones we got. So as you can see, they've got a bit of double-sided tape, so you can, when you get them lined up against your hole, you can stick them there and then put everything back on and put the mirrors on with the door card on. So that way, you know, it'll stay there while you're fiddling around getting the screws in. Pretty much it's just a matter of lining these up with the holes on the outside of the door and uh, sticking them there. So let's do that. I'm just gonna give a quick clean around these bracket areas uh, and also just the hole where the mirror sits because obviously once the bracket portion of the mirror is on, I'm never gonna be able to clean that part of the car again unless I take them off. So I'm just gonna give it a good clean, the bits that stand underneath now, and the whole car is due for a clean anyway, so yeah. All right, so with that cleaned up, we are now ready to bolt on the first set of mirrors. And this goes to show how easy it is to replace, as it should be, because they, I mean, they're pretty simple anyway, but just because you got a big fancy mirror doesn't mean things have to be made hard. So yeah, let's bolt on a new mirror. Can you see how it looks? Yeah, so as you can see, as well as the mirror, you get like a rubber, I don't know what you call it, like a, it's almost like a gasket, I suppose. Um, so it just pretty much creates a seal behind the mirror so that you don't get water going behind the mirror, essentially. So that sits on first. And as and obviously the whole idea with buying something specifically to suit the GQ is that the contours of the um, like bracket and everything are designed to fit the contours of the door. So as you can see, when I put that on, all the bends, or once it's compressed, Everything lines up nice. So, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Ba and there it is. So, that's one side complete. Wow, they look, they look sick. They actually look like a lot better than I. I expected them to look really big like and the bit at the bottom to like look really bulky but it actually doesn't wow you see a lot like a lot oh yeah gee they're good and you got like a rear tire mirror as well well you can see your tire yeah yeah in the bottom one huh. 
and they sturdy as too. And then I yeah, when I go forward driving, which they come in pretty close, really. And then oh, and if I'm um, highway Turin. <laughs> That's like, huge. Can you see? So you can see right around the canopy, no worries. Oh, I can easily see back if I want to. Yeah, they're grouse. All right. Yeah, it's like, and they're super tall too. You get like heaps of up and down view. Damn. All right, so with mirror number one on, let's quickly zip around, do the other side now that we know what we're doing, and um, we'll show you what they look like. All right, and just like that, both uh, OCAM towing mirrors are now on. So, I mean, you can tell me how they look. I reckon they look pretty sick. Yeah, we'll have to take it for a drive and see how it goes driving. I reckon this one's gonna make a big difference. So I'll just have to do a bit of driving around to set up, uh, mess around with the, cause obviously all the mirrors are adjustable. So mess around with what's best for seeing, what's best for my vision. So um, yeah, let's go do that. All right, so got the mirrors all mounted up. And as you can see, they look awesome. Forgot to really mention with these mirrors, um, this isn't just all they do. So pretty much, obviously being a towing mirror, you might, if you've got a, you know, massive 20 foot or bigger camper on the back, you're gonna want more vision. So you just slide them out and adjust your mirrors so you get that extra um, angle to view back. Other thing is too, you might be thinking out bush, yeah, these are gonna hit on everything. And although I reckon you'd probably be right, um, you can, or if you do happen to hit them on anything, you can fold them, or if they do hit on anything, they fold in, so that gives you that bit more clearance. Or, for whatever reason, even if you would actually knock the mirror the other way, you might be thinking, oh, don't want to snap it, it goes that way as well. So, it's got a bit of movement there, so you don't have to stress about, you know, actually snapping it off the hinge or breaking it or something like that. So they put a lot of thought into that, which is good, knowing the sort of cars that these are suited for. And yeah, they uh, they look sick and they're functional and yeah. All right, so we just started driving, just going down the dirt road here, but already I can tell, a lot more stable, nowhere near as much shaking. Yeah, I really like the mirror on the bottom already, because you can see your back wheel with it. In our driveway, we have to reverse back up to a, like a, a cliff and to do like a two point turn. So like I can now, rather than stick my head out the window, I can watch my rear wheel back up to the edge and then just take off, it's so much easier. Yeah, also too, with the big mirror on top, I can actually, I can so much easier see, like more past my canopy as well as, because the mirrors are so big, you can see out like sideways as well, like at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's like with the old mirrors, it's sort of like one or the other, whereas this you can get, you get a lot wider range. Yeah, so on the road they seem grouse. It looks like I'm gonna be able to see way across two lanes of traffic, which is bloody awesome. And especially on that side too, made a big difference. Easy to put on, seems sturdy. It improves your driving experience in terms of vision, definitely. Like I'm sure sitting on the freeway and having these would be awesome. I can even imagine circumstances where four wheel driving is probably pretty good to have. The ability to see so much more and like see the back of your car and like and down low too, having the twin mirrors. And that's the other thing too, I feel like they don't actually stick out that much further than the other ones. By the time you go with the old style mirrors, the bar, and then to the edge of the mirror, I reckon they these only probably stick out an extra 100 mil, maybe. Obviously you have to expect more because it's a towing mirror, like it's literally what it's designed for, so obviously it's gonna be bigger, but it's actually not that much bigger over the factory ones anyway, so it's not like, oh, I'm so wide, I can't fit anywhere now because yeah, I always see big cars like Land Cruisers and GUs and stuff driving around with the big towing mirrors and they seem to do everything fine and not hit. I mean, obviously they're doing everything fine because they run them. So yeah, and this is a narrower car than any of them. So yeah, I'd say it should be fine. So yeah, very, very impressed and very happy. All right, so that's everything completed with the OCAM mirrors. Um, as you can see in the video, they make a huge difference to driving the car. I'm stoked with them, stoked with how they look, stoked with just the vision. Um, yeah, coming from those little mirrors, you know, it's night and day difference. So, yeah, if you uh, liked watching us 
install the OCAM mirrors and want to see us do some other stuff like this or whatever, just make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let us know what you think, get subscribed, and um, we'll see you in the next one.